All right, this is the chicken feeder that uh, that we built, and all it consists of is we went down to one of your feed stores and got a watering bowl. And if you see this watering bowl, it's four inches, and I did four inches, so when the food comes out of the two inch holes that you see right here, the birds can't peck it and make a mess, which works great. Now, the way I did it, I went and got one of the lids that go on top of it. So you can go ahead and uh, take the lid off. It, it keeps the food clean. And then inside, what I did is uh, I took a, a pot and set it in between, just big enough to go in between the bolts. And I have three bolts. And what those bolts do is I put a piece of wood, I cut a piece of wood that goes totally around the bottom. And then if you notice, I have one, I'll hold that. I have one there as well. So it's acting as a press, so it's not gonna rip through the bottom. So when you pour your feed in, the feed gets poured in here, it hits your uh, your your pot and then pushes the feed out the holes. And so as you can look in here, you can see all these holes all the way around. And I just spaced them two inch and uh, you screw the lid back on. We just went ahead, put a piece of rope, carabiner, and we held it to where they could just barely get their heads into it to where they couldn't make a mess. Now we also did a water and all we did is we actually got another one of these. We took a five gallon bucket, we went right below this handle right here and drilled one three eighths inch hole. We filled this full water, turned it over into this. The water basically filled up until it hit that mark and now you got a, a water five gallon bucket and just using that watering dish. So that's how we did it and it worked great. We had uh, off of this and that water we did two two waters we did 53 chickens um, and it lasted quite a while the one thing that I would say is this is orange obviously it's from Home Depot if you get a clear one and you do the water then you can see the water level where it's at and so once it gets down closer to the bottom I would rinse it out just scrub it real quick fill it back up and put them out there so very inexpensive like this right here it cost me, I think it was like $5, maybe a little over $5 to do the whole thing. So if you take a feeder that's a huge feeder at one of the stores, you're paying 30, 40 bucks easy. So hopefully it helps you. Thanks, bye.